Trisha and welcome to my channel. Tonight I'm going to be making something that I've been craving and it is my Texas Lady Chili Pie. Let me bring down the camera so I can show you what the ingredients are going to be so we can get started on this delicious, delicious chili pie. All right, everyone, I've got a can of chili here. This is a 15 ounce can of Wolf Brand Chili. You can use whatever chili you like unless you want to make some fresh homemade, but this is the quick and easy version. I'm going to add some dark red kidney beans. This is a 15 ounce can as well. And I have drained them a bit. Let's get them all in there and mix them in. Right now, I really just want everything to heat up. We're not doing any cooking. Everything's already cooked. It just needs to be heated up. And now I added a can of deep diced tomatoes. You can chop some up fresh if you prefer. And we're gonna let this get nice and hot once again. All right, this has been getting hot. So the next thing I want to do is I wanna add some cheese into this. And I want to add two cups of cheese, but I'm gonna add the first cup in there to melt it in there really well. Now, after you've added this in and you've added your Fritos, because we are going to be using corn chips, you can use Frito brand or whatever brand you want to use, whatever your favorite brand is. I've got my store brand, my HEB store brand. So I'm gonna add this cheese in there and get it to melt in there really, really well. I'm actually going to add a little bit more of the second cup of, and I'm using a uh, Velveeta, this Velveeta brand uh, shreds, and it's cheddar, but you can use whatever brand you want to use. You can use craft cheddar if you want. I just like cheddar, but you could use maybe a uh, Monterey Jack or something different just to, just to change it up. Okay, so I'm going to let this cheese melt, and then we're going to add our corn chips. All right, so what you wanna do now is you wanna add your corn chips in there, and then this will be ready to serve with some toppings. But I'm actually going to add some diced jalapeno. This is completely optional. Get that in there, mix it up really well, and then I'm gonna add my corn chips. And I'm gonna do everything in this one pan. Now you could take all of this and put it in the oven, Top it off with the rest of your cheese and put it in the oven at 350 for about 10 minutes. You want that cheese on top that you sprinkle on top to get nice and melted and maybe even a little bit brown, a little bit crunchy. That would be delicious. I'm just gonna serve it straight up out of the pan. So I just wanna coat my corn chips with this yumminess. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat off now. And stir this in, and then I am going to go ahead and top it off with my favorite toppings. All right, everyone, I have mixed in my chips, and now I'm gonna sprinkle it with some more of this cheese. Like I said, this can go into the oven. If this is, a, this is an oven-safe pot, I could go ahead and put it straight in there, or you can put it into a little dish and then top it off with more of this cheese, like I'm doing now. I'm gonna serve it up just like this. I like to have some onions on my Frito pie, so I'm gonna also top it off like that with some nice chopped fresh onions. You can use a little green onions if you prefer to use those. Get some on there, looks delicious. Now, the other thing that I like to put into my Frito pie is some nice, Catalina dressing or you could use like a French dressing so this is my Texas lady chili pie and this is what makes it mine because I love to add this on there just like that just to give you that little flavor I'm gonna throw more of these onions on top and another thing that I like to also add is some Cholula or some uh, Tabasco sauce. Now, I actually do prefer Tabasco sauce, but I'm going to use a Cholula because that is what I happen to have. And then you could just add whatever one you prefer. If you even care for any hot sauce, maybe some Louisiana hot sauce, that would be great in here as well. And then you're going to top it all off with some fresh 
chopped lettuce make it look pretty just like that and then if you want which I do I'm gonna to top it off with some sour cream now if you didn't put those little diced jalapenos in there you could add some sliced jalapenos on here that would look delicious also some black olives would be really nice on this so this is my Texas lady chili pie let's give it a little taste to find out how delicious it really is all right I'm gonna serve myself some from right on this little edge here take a look at that it looks so good. Any bit that falls on the counter, I call dibs on. <laughs> okay, let's get some more. Of course, you could serve these separately and then top them off with the lettuce and the sour cream. I just did this for the video presentation that you'll see at the end. But there we go. There is my chili pie. Gonna give this a taste. I'm gonna make sure I got some sour cream on there. I've got a chip, got tomato, everything loaded up on this one little bite. Mmm. I didn't get a bean, you guys. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Yep. That bean adds a little bit of meatiness to this meal. Because you know those canned chilies don't have a lot of meat in them I'm gonna give myself a big old thumbs up I hope you too will give me a big old thumbs up and that you enjoyed watching my recipe and that you will try this this is perfect for any occasion really and it's also something that maybe you can even get the kids involved helping you toss things in or even topping it off at the end so just set up a little bar and let everyone serve themselves the Fritos on their plate first and then maybe pour the chili on top, sprinkle the cheese and then the rest of the toppings. However you want to serve this, it's going to be delicious. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Hit that notification bell. I have videos every Tuesday and every Friday and occasionally I have a weekend vlog. But that's it for you all tonight. I hope that you will also share on your social medias and as always, enjoy.